Are you confused by words like sperm count, morphology, motility, and other semen analysis parameters? Then this video is for you. As you will understand what these words mean, also be able to find answers to questions such as What is a semen analysis test? Why is it performed? How is the semen analysis procedure done? And lastly, understanding semen analysis report and distinguishing between normal and abnormal semen analysis. So what is a semen analysis test? Semen analysis is also called a seminogram or a spermiogram. Semen essentially is the fluid containing sperms along with nutrients and enzymes that aid to nourish the sperm. Semen analysis is the diagnostic test which is used to assess certain characteristics of a male's semen and sperms which are contained there in the sample. Why is the semen analysis performed? Semen analysis is a diagnostic test which is used to assess male fertility. It is done as a part of basic investigation to evaluate male fertility status. How exactly is the semen analysis procedure done? Semen analysis procedure is done as per the guidelines set by World Health Organization Semen Analysis Standards, the fifth edition being the latest edition to date. These guidelines outline how to perform semen analysis and the suggested reference values to interpret the results. Semen analysis procedure is recommended following an abstinence of two to seven days. It is collected in a sterile labeled container containing the relevant identity of the person. Semen analysis procedure involves the following stages. It is first assessed visually to observe certain parameters, which is called macroscopic assessment. This includes volume, color, pH, viscosity, and liquefaction time of the semen. Liquefaction time is the time it takes for the semen to form a more fluid-like consistency, as opposed to being gel-like and thick in consistency. Most samples are fully liquefied within 15 to 20 minutes. Although rarely, it may take 60 minutes or more for liquefaction. The color of the semen is also noted and normally it is grayish white and opalescent in color. The volume is also measured, which normally should be greater than 1.5 ml. With respect to the viscosity of semen, when the semen is moved in and out of the pipette, normal semen should form discrete droplets as opposed to being string-like and thread-like in consistency. Semen pH is another parameter which measures how acidic or alkaline the semen is which reflects the status of male reproductive accessory glands. Following macroscopic assessment, microscopic assessment is done, which is when the semen sample is observed for sperm and other cell types under the microscope. Assessment of sperm count, sperm motility, sperm morphology, sperm vitality, also white blood cell count are some of the major parameters that are conducted as part of semen analysis. Sperm concentration is the number of sperms determined in millions per milliliter. This is achieved by the use of specialized counting chambers such as the Newbar chamber as shown here. Normal sperm concentration is 15 million sperms per milliliter. Sperm motility is another parameter which is observed of sperms and essentially is the movement of sperms. Sperms are characterized as progressively motile, which means that they can move in a forward direction. They can also be non-progressively motile as they can move from side to side, however not in a straight path. Sperms can also be characterized as immotile as they lack motility. However, immotile sperms does not mean that they are dead and to distinguish between immotile and dead sperms, sperm vitality or viability tests are done to determine if the sperm are actually alive or viable. Sperm morphology is another important parameter which is observed under the microscope. This analyzes the shape or structure of the sperm. To do sperm morphology assessment, sperms are stained with dye which allow for a more robust visualization of the structural features of the sperm. As you can see here, the top left sperm is normal while others shown here are abnormal. Normal morphology is given as a percentage of sperms analyzed. 4% of greater sperms is considered normal based on WHO semen analysis 5th edition. So coming on interpretation and understanding of semen analysis report. And here they are highlighted alongside each specific parameter. If your test values are within the reference range, then everything appears to be normal. If, however, the semen analysis reveals an abnormal finding, the exact parameter with the abnormal test value would be highlighted on the basis of which the semen classification is done. For instance, Asthenozoospermia classification is due to lower than normal percentage motility. Let's take a look at another example. If sperm morphology is lower than 4%, which is the normal criteria, it is classified as teratozoospermia. Similarly, other classifications are also assigned as shown here. 
reasons for abnormal findings may be due to hormonal imbalance, environmental exposure, infection, genetic reasons, etc. Your consulting doctor may therefore recommend additional tests or treatment plan accordingly. Thank you for watching till the end. A list of other commonly asked questions are answered below in the description. If you have any related queries, feel free to comment below.